it is time for a use up meal and uh, the wheel is telling me that I should make a sandwich. For my uh, sandwich, I happen to have a tortilla shell, so I'm gonna make a wrap. And um, I'm working here some mushrooms and onion that uh, I used for my tilapia kebabs. If you uh, didn't get a chance to see that, they're in my highlights. For my oil, I still have that leftover artichoke marinade from my marinated artichoke card, so I used that for my marinade. So we have artichoke oil, if you will. And then I've got these amazing potatoes. Uh, that was in, I made way too many, so this will be part of my use up meal and uh, I'll stir those in uh, to be part of my little wrap. Um, I also have this leftover grind puree that I used that had the uh, chili and it had bay leaf, garlic, tastes phenomenal. So this is gonna add so much taste, flavor, spice. And now in goes my uh, vinegar, chili, serrano chili, uh, bay leaf, and garlic um, puree. And that's gonna add heat and so much savory flavor. <laughs> oh. um, I also happen to have some tamarind paste left over from tamarind uh, sauce from an Indian restaurant, Taj Mahal, I love that place. Um, so I'll add that in as well. That should give me just a little more punch of flavor. And that should be a wrap, literally. I need to heat up my tortilla. And I actually just put that right here. I could totally see adding cheese to this, um, but right now this is actually vegan, so I think there's enough flavor. I don't need to add the cheese, there's enough texture. We'll put all that in there. And we'll hit it with some of this cilantro. Don't need to use it all. And I have myself an incredible use up meal. This is gonna be dynamite. One last tip when you make a burrito. I should have shown you how I folded it. I, I, um, I don't know why I didn't think to film that, but you basically fold the sides until they overlap. Then you fold the front in and pull as tight as you can and you should get a nice little wrap. It doesn't always work for me, but uh, this worked out pretty good. One of the things I love to do though, is once you have it wrapped, put it seam side down in this hot skillet and it'll help to sear it. It'll give it texture uh, and it'll sear it closed. I'll also do this side. I'll flip it over and do the top side as well. You can see the beautiful color I got on there and it's totally sealed and nice and, listen to that. Some great texture on there. I'm having it with some Cape gooseberries. If you haven't had them, they come in a shell just like a tomatillo, and they do feel a little sticky like a tomatillo. They're slightly sweet, slightly tart, and I absolutely love them. Mm. All right, now for the main event. Mm. Between the tamarind and the vinegar, um, there was plenty of acid in here. It is so delicious. Um, holy cow, the pulp is so good. And then in the potato 